features. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The short circuit. Are you sure we're allowed to play in your dad's office? We're not gonna play in here. We came here on a tour. I think this place is like a real museum. Just take a look at that. I have no idea what it is. And this thing is a complete mystery. <laughs> Keep it down, this is a museum, you know? <laughs> What a great museum guide you are! You know absolutely nothing! How can you say you don't know? I know! I'd like to run a test here, on the capacitor. On this one? Don't, don't touch. touch! Why can't I? It's not a museum. Because it's dangerous. If you touch it, the shock could be deadly. But you two are touching it all the time. I've seen it. The only time is when the device is turned off. And right now, the device is running. For many centuries, the Fixies only had to work on mechanical devices. But after the discovery of electricity, the Fixies had to master electrical devices as well. At first, Fixies were getting terrible shocks, and they really, really hurt. Over time, the Fixies figured out that you can't fix appliances when they are turned on, and bare wires should never, ever be touched. And Fixies also learned that electricity can travel not just through wires, but through plain old water. So that's why if a broken wire ever ends up in a puddle of water, you must never get close to it, or you could get a terrible shock. Fixies learn all these important rules, and they hope humans understand that they need to learn them as well. Look, now here's one I know about. It's an old radio my dad got for my grandpa. More than 60 years old, can you believe it? <gasps> Your grandpa? <laughs> the old radio. That was a joke. Is it still working? I don't know. Let's check. Electricity got turned off. Maybe it was a short circuit. I'll go find out. <sighs> oh, so it was you who caused the short circuit. I was in here showing all these things to Nolik, and we wanted to turn on on the radio. We flipped the switch on, and then suddenly, kaboom, the lights go off. They're off <sighs> everywhere in the apartment. So then how can I even warm up my pizza now? Soon it will warm up all by itself, now that the refrigerator isn't working. Simka, uh, what is that thing you said? A short circuit. <laughs> Electricity goes back and forth from an appliance with two separate wires. For example, an iron uses the electricity it needs to get hot. But if those two wires start touching each other without the iron in the middle, then the wires will get hot instead. And this can cause the wires to burn out. When this happens, it's called a short circuit. Short circuits can happen when the coating around a wire is worn out, or when an appliance is broken on the inside of it. So when you tried turning on that old broken radio, the wires in the apartment started burning. Does that mean all the wires got destroyed? Don't worry. In our apartment, there's an automatic switch to stop that. It turns off the electricity when the wires start getting too hot. Oof. And what about that, uh, uh, automatic switch? Is that something you need your mom and dad to turn on? No question. You definitely would. But you have us. Yeah! And we have Papus and Masia. I'll go tell them what happened here. And you guys, you turn off the radio. But we'll get electrocuted. What do you mean, electrocuted? Thanks to you, there's no electricity. Are you ready? Pull it up. Hooray! 
Tadish! So, Tom Thomas, what are we doing next? Hmm, why don't we continue with our tour? Hey, wait for me! I'm coming! Hey, wait, I thought you were fixing the television with Papus and Masia. They asked me to come here and stay with you on your awesome museum tour. That way, there'll be less for them to fix in here later. <laughs> They need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixer, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixer, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixer, please don't let their secret out. GPS. Next. I'm next. Five. One, two, three, three. And. Wait, I gotta choose a route. Should I go here or there? Choose already. Nolik, what are you doing over there? Nothing at all. Just waiting at my place. Good. And don't get off it. Well, Fire? What was that? The alarm on my fixie tab. Oh, our lesson's about to start. Hurry! What about the game? Later! As soon as young fixies enter their first year of fixie school, everyone gets their own fixie tab. It's a little computer that can do anything at all. Well, almost anything at all. Studying with a fixie tab is fantastic. You can read it just like a book and write in it just like writing in a notebook. You can use a fixie tab to listen to music, watch movies, find your way around, and talk, text, and send letters to your friends. And if you want, you can use a fixie tab to go on to the internet that humans use, or you can visit the secret fixie internet where you can find news about the world of the fixies. And fixie tabs have games on them, too. Of course, these games can be a lot of fun, but you shouldn't play games until your homework is all done. Faster, or we'll be late! I know a shortcut we can use, this way. Now which way do we go? I need to remember the route. I think it's this way, or it could be that way. Well, which is it, this or that? Uh, I have no clue. Uh-huh. So what's our plan? We'll go back and start again. We flew in from there, right? No, I think it was there. That's not how we flew in, it was there. Ah, uh, I think we're lost in here. Uh-oh. No, like, stop the panicking. I only went, uh-oh, I'm not panicking yet. It's your fault, Fire. I know a shortcut. Go this way. How are we gonna get out of here? How do I know? All I know is that we're late for our lesson. Thanks to someone. It wasn't on purpose, I swear. Now Grandpa's will punish us. <gasps> What's going on? Well, I think I found a way to get out. Which way? Right here. I forgot that inside of my fixie tab is a GPS navigator. Class, uh, what's a navigator? A GPS navigator is an interactive electronic map that can help you find your way around. The navigator can figure out where you are by using signals that are sent to it from satellites. All you have to do is type the address of the place you want to go into it, and the GPS can figure out a route to get you there. And then it helps you as you go by telling you where and when you need to turn, so you can easily get to your destination. Let's see. Right now, we're here. And where do we need to go? <laughs> you know where to school. But where is that? Are you joking? In the laboratory of Professor Eugenius. Can you be quiet? Where do you want to go? The laboratory of Professor Eugenius. 
Please wait while I chart out the route. Ha! It did it! <laughs> the navigator says to go there! Hey, what are you doing over there? Come on! And if you happen to go off route, the navigator will give you a different way to... Well, you finally made it. Unfortunately, you missed an important lesson today. We got lost. Forgive us. In case you're wondering, we were studying navigators. And you know what? We just used a navigator to get here. Yeah, it showed us the way we had to go. Well, that's certainly quite lucky for you because now you don't get an F. But from now on, kids, you have to get here on time. I promise you that, because now we know where to get our shortcuts from. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.